Hello my friends, I'm Professor Hans von Puppet. Today we'll be taking a look at a Euro-inspired area enclosure worker placement bluffing game, which is heavy on downtime, but still gateway-ish and sleepy. Hello. Oh, hi there. Yeah, I was just busy gambling stuff. Today we'll be dis dis discussing gambling, or as I like to call it, admitting you have an addiction. Yeah. Push your luck or press your luck games. In these games, you have something and you have the option to gain more. Even though you have enough, you can still get more. There is a penalty though. If you stumble or fail, you lose everything. I love it. <laughs> the prime example of this is uh, Ink and Gold. There are many games that use this mechanism, but this has the most easy one maybe. So, let's delve into this one and see what it's all about. In Ink and Gold, you are going through a temple collecting treasures. So this is not how the game works now, but let's say, just for the sake of argument, I go in here and I can take 9 money now and leave. Or I can push on and get more. Oh, look here, 13. Great. I can even push further. Oh, oh a cave in. Well, the first cave in is safe, so I can still leave now with a lot of money, or I can continue like so. Oh, look okay, more money! I can still continue. Yeah, of course I'm going to continue. Oh, 2 of the same disaster, I'm out. I lost everything. So how far are you willing to push it? Well, there are many games to test your skill in that. You have Deep Sea Adventure, Port Royal, Celestia, Ink and Gold, and even, even Past the Pigs is a great example for this. I love this game, actually. So many different games use this method in so many different ways, and I love how you can be pushed, and the only opponent you have is yourself at often times. So push your luck or press your luck is to see how far you're willing to go, or gamble with what you have, and see if you can gain more and more and more, and stop at just the right time to get the most out of your journey. Okay, thanks for now.